This video is an excess of uh, a keyboard. Uh, this is the XS Gram XS keyboard. It's excessively beautiful. I think they've submitted it here to, to uh, run in our st uh, beauty contest. It's extremely slim. These are chiclet keys on a gaming keyboard, and I can already hear a few of you willing like, <clears throat> that's the sound you make before you type in your house. I'll only have mechanical switches on my keyboard. These are mechanical chiclet switches. And this video is gonna sound a lot like an advertisement because I really like this keyboard. And when I really am excited about something, um, it, it sounds like I like it. How about that? So these are red switches. They also come in blue. Now the red are linear. And um, the thing that's nice about red switches on this, red switches on like a full sized, like Cherry MX or Cherry MX clone switch, um, their the travel distance is is a little farther and they don't bottom out as quickly as they do with these. So the actuation distance on this is 1.1 uh, millimeter, give or take 0.4 millimeters. That's a little better than you get on the regular Cherry and it bottoms out quicker as well. It requires about the same amount of force, 45 grams of force. Uh, the, the blue requires 40 grams of force, so a little bit less there. And the thing that's neat about this is it bottoms out quickly, so it, it feels more like a clicky switch or it feels like it has a better tactile feedback, even though it doesn't. These are linear because they're red. I mean, the blue obviously has the click in the middle, but I actually like the red a lot in these uh, for typing because with chiclet keys, they bottom out quickly and it just feels, it feels better than typing on a regular red keyboard to me. Now, above and beyond that, you can still hover your you know hand on top of the the keys and you can still you know double tap very very rapidly because they're linear switches you're not going to have to return uh, all the way back up to the top you can kind of rest your fingers and, and mush around and just kind of i don't know feel your way through the game i guess it is so they're pretty good for gaming um, they're not as comfortable to type on in my opinion as a full-size keyboard with like blue switches or even brown switches uh, but they are way better than reds to type on and I think they're better than reds to game on as well I just like the way these feel like better than Cherry MX Red So if you like red switches, this is a nice way to go now the blues It's gonna be up to personal preference whether you like them better than a regular full-size mechanical blue But they do have a really nice aesthetic. I mean, there's always that so it's, it's give or take. I like the way the blues feel, but I especially like the way the reds feel Let's talk about the rest of the features of this keyboard now. It's got full RGB lighting uh, above and beyond that, uh, you can use the software to program all kinds of things. We've got media keys up here on the top. Uh, you can lock the Windows key down there on the bottom when you're, you know, in games and stuff. So if you want to, you want to get into your games and play some modes, and you can easily change through the profiles right here that are stored on the keyboard, right on top. And also, a 32-bit ARM processor in there, and they say that is to help reduce the latency, uh, but it's probably going to manage everything that's going on uh, under the hood of this. I didn't notice any you know, weird issues with latency or anything like that. It runs the same as pretty much every other keyboard out there. A lot of people advertise latency a lot because it sounds good, but the biggest point of latency in the entire chain is always the human, unless we're talking about a crappy monitor. Polling rate's 1000, uh, it's USB 2.0, and we have a removable cable, and it is a very nicely made, sturdy, braided cable. I actually like braided cables on my keyboard, but not on my mice. And that's personal opinion again, and I'm right. Guys, this has a very sturdy uh, build to it really no seams doesn't look like it came out of a, a cheap factory so that's nice uh, tessero has really done a lot to make this keyboard feel and look really premium all right the dimensions are 450 by 126.5 by 24 millimeters so that is a very thin and also it has a nice small footprint for a full-size keyboard on your desk it weighs 800 grams with the cable that is so if you want to carry it around in your backpack you'll know what you're lugging around with you. Um, so do I recommend this? Um, yeah, if you're okay with chiclet keys, and I, I love the reds, like I said, if it comes to blues, it, you really almost have to feel it to see if you like it better than regular blues. Um, I mean, if you like the chiclet style and you like the, the feel of chiclet keys, but want something a little better, then yes, go for it. Cable's 1.8 meters, forgot to mention that. I really like Tessero's new software. It's clean and minimal. So you can do quick start and just pick your color and that's pretty much it. Just, oh, let's do that. But I want to do advanced mode, which is also pretty simple. I feel like they should get rid of the quick start and just do advanced mode. Because in advanced mode, you can come over here and do some assignments, uh, assign different keys and that sort of thing. 
So when you plug it in, you're in PC mode, but you have three profiles you can store to the keyboard and you can come over here and you can add macros and mouse functions, media controls, uh, all kinds of stuff that you can do. Um, so there's that. I'm not gonna go too far into that. If you guys need a keyboard that can do macros, just know that you can and you can set it up to do several different things. And then we can set up our profiles um, with different functions. Let's say the W key here and I wanna change that, we can. Let's take a look at lighting effects. So we can just do some of the preset lighting effects or we can come in here and get really custom with the lighting effects. Uh, I'll show you just a few, I'm just you know standard, let's just turn them on. Pick a few different colors, it's pretty. Now trigger, it'll trigger a certain thing when it's typing. It's really cool that you get real-time feedback in the software as well while you're pressing stuff. The trigger, what is firework? Let's just see what a couple of these are. Go ahead and hit it with firework. Oh, isn't that festive? There's breathing. There we go. We can pick our different colors. You can pick a couple different colors there. We can do random, whatever. Star shining. Let's make it, that's a little bit too much. Just gonna be purple. And color two will be purple and pink. Purple and blue, just nice. Mm. Cycling, what's this? The ripple. Get that ripple going, go ahead and hit a bunch. Get some random colors in there. Look at this monstrosity with them random colors. Cool. Here's wave. And spiral. Whoa. Whoa. Who's going to use this <laughs> with spiral? I want to know in the comments who's going to use this thing with spiral. And then we can change our brightness over here. Come back and adjust. It's just simple and clean software without a lot of nonsense, and I like that. Okay, I got to change it back to standard <laughs> before I go crazy. Stop the graphics! And now that we're back, we're about to run out of stuff on the memory card. It's about, it's about full. I'm just going to talk until it dies. No, I'm not. Grab one of our shirts. I haven't made fun of the NSA enough lately, but you guys can with one of our shirts. And uh, we'll see you guys in the forum.